Hello, and welcome to my channel where we explore the wonders of the universe. Today, we are going to talk about string theory, one of the most ambitious and controversial ideas in physics. What is string theory, and why is it so important? Let's find out. You probably know that everything in the world is made of tiny particles called atoms, and that atoms are made of even smaller particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. But what are these particles made of? Are they the smallest units of matter, or can they be divided further? According to string theory, the answer is yes. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of nature are not point-like particles, but tiny, vibrating strings of energy. These strings are so small that they are invisible to even the most powerful microscopes. They are also very flexible and can vibrate in different ways, like the strings of a musical instrument. Depending on how they vibrate, they produce different kinds of particles, such as quarks, leptons, photons, and even gravitons, the hypothetical particles that carry the force of gravity. But why do we need string theory? What's wrong with the existing theories of physics? Well, the problem is that we have two very successful but incompatible theories, quantum mechanics and general relativity. Quantum mechanics describes the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales, such as atoms and subatomic particles. General relativity describes the behavior of space and time at the largest scales, such as planets, stars, and galaxies. Both theories have been tested and confirmed by countless experiments and observations, but they don't agree with each other. They give different and contradictory predictions about what happens in extreme situations, such as the center of a black hole or the beginning of the universe. String theory is an attempt to reconcile these two theories and create a unified theory of everything, a single mathematical framework that can describe all the forces and phenomena in nature. String theory does this by introducing extra dimensions of space, beyond the three that we are familiar with. According to string theory, there are 10 dimensions of space and one dimension of time, making a total of 11 dimensions. However, we don't see these extra dimensions because they are curled up into tiny, complex shapes called Calabayao manifolds that are only accessible to the strings. By having more dimensions, string theory can accommodate both the quantum and the gravitational aspects of reality and explain how they are related. String theory is a very elegant and beautiful theory, but it also has many challenges and limitations. One of the biggest challenges is that string theory is very hard to test experimentally because the strings are so small and the extra dimensions are so hidden. To detect them, we would need extremely high energies and extremely precise measurements beyond the reach of our current technology. Another challenge is that string theory is not unique. There are many different versions of string theory, each with different properties and predictions. In fact, there are so many possibilities that some physicists have proposed the idea of the string theory landscape, a vast collection of possible universes, each with its own laws of physics. We would then live in one of these universes, chosen randomly or by some unknown principle. So, is string theory the ultimate theory of everything, or just a mathematical fantasy? The answer is not clear yet. String theory is still a work in progress, and there are many open questions and unresolved issues. However, string theory has also inspired many new insights and discoveries in physics and mathematics and has opened new horizons for our understanding of the universe. Whether it is true or not, string theory is definitely one of the most fascinating and intriguing ideas in the history of science. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more physics videos. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. See you next time.